Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 19th to the 25th of July 2021. I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading Capricorn and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what, okay. Hmm. Page of Swords. Can be some news, learning something, hearing something, could be to do with some truth or knowledge or wisdom. It can also be the spying card as well for that reason, Capricorn. Somebody spying or watching on you, watching you. You watching them, vice versa, energy, but it feels more to do with some something's coming in. Some news or information. Let's pull another card for that one. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so we have the Hermit energy, which some news coming in, which is bringing in introspection, going within, finding answers from within. Um, because there may well be some decision or choice that you need to make in your external environment. The Two of Swords, there's sometimes a lack of clarity, things need to become clear, but it might well be with that hermit energy, you might need to go, go within, find some answers um, on how to deal with what this Page of Swords is bringing in, some truth, some news, some information, learning something, hearing something. I have to say, Capricorn, the, the readings, the energies have been very, uh, not always easy this week for all signs so far. So let's see what we have. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Capricorn. Hermit can be healing, introspection. We have Rainbow Dragon. There's an energy of... Um, feels like dealing with something from a position of being in your power um a dragon is kind of like an empowerment energy it's a force it's a it's a force of nature the dragon it's 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 empowering here And we have truth, dealing with truth and coming through. I feel like it's coming through the other side of this. I mean, this is a kind of colour energy. There's no there's no black, you know, there's no black in that card. I don't see any black in the Rainbow Dragon card. However, there is some kind of like illumination, truth. Someone's mask is being taken off here. There is some news, learning something, hearing something. But, you know, Capricorn, I do feel that you will come through the other side of this, whatever it is. Um, bottom of the deck I've got protection you're being protected by angel spirits guides but I also feel this is about protecting you self-preservation self-protection here Knights of warrior energy as well okay so some some decision that needs to be made let's pull an angel card what do we have please angels what is the message People need to hear the most. What is the message people need to hear the most for the week? 19th to the 25th of July. So we have uh, trust. You're being watched over, guided. Again, this is a card of protection. It feels that way. Um, also trust your intuition here. But something that you need to take action with, you know. Something that needs to be dealt with here. Could be some... Uh, a mask being revealed, a mask being taken off, seen behind the mask. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Capricorn, I'm going to pull three cards and then we will clarify and go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, Capricorn. Cards aren't what they are, so they're meant for somebody. Let's um, see what we have. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. We have the Magician in the Challenge position. Mm. Okay. 
Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. What do we have? Uh, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Capricorn, thank you. Message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Seeing through someone's mask, it feels that way quite strongly. Seeing through the mask. Uh, okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. So the Four of, of Cups. The Knight of Wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles, I feel in this energy, is you. Can be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Yeah. You're dealing with the facts here. I feel some of you, there's a, there's a reality, uh, realism that I'm feeling in this situation, some kind of reality that you're seeing about a certain person. I've had this mess, a similar message for you here, Capricorn, for a previous reading. Um, it could have been the spirit messages, it could have been the weekend messages, so. We have the King of Cups. This is the advice from Spirit. And we have the Ace of Cups here. The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Bottom of the deck we have The night, the nine of pentacles. Okay, Capricorn, interesting energy here. You're learning something, you're hearing something this week that is prompting you to make some kind of decision about somebody. It feels, and I've, I have had this message for you, and you know, the cards will, you know, if it's a significant message for some of you, spirit will keep on pushing it until it feels like it's hitting home here. So there's definitely an energy here of um, a mask has been revealed. You're seeing through some kind of um, illusion. You're seeing through, through the illusion of what, the illusion of, so what somebody is reality is dawning on you here um and i don't think it's it's not a bad thing i mean you were all about earth energy and the earth energy is kicking in you know um there's some decision to make you're going within you're finding some um inner guidance inner wisdom here maybe to make some kind of decision get some answers from within uh, because some kind of new some kind of clarity uh, truth is being shown to you here and it's prompting to deal with the situation now, sometimes it's two of swords is i don't want to look at it i don't want to deal with it but i feel in this situation um you are you are you are ready to deal with the the actual facts the actual physical situation of the of what what you're confronted with um Again, I, I feel that this is about you embracing your colours. There is a massive energy of self-preservation protection here. You and your truth. You, you, you taking action. You valuing yourself. There is self-love. You're coming at this from a position of really being in your power and seeing a reality of a situation. I don't always like the magician in the challenge position. The magician is, is great at manifesting energy. But you know, um, the magician in the challenge position, and when I touched this card, I definitely felt the energy, um, can represent somebody who understands how to create that magical act. Somebody who can say they're silver-tongued, they say all the right things, they are um, 
they have all the capabilities to really use each of those tools on the table to to create this kind of like smokescreen of of um Persuade, uh, manipulating, uh, there's, a, there's a manipulating energy here uh, to manipulate situations to their advantage. Um, and I'm feeling this kind of energy. Uh, somebody who is silver tongue says all the right things here, Capricorn. Um, it seemed ideal, seemed the ideal person. And also you will find that other people don't see what you see. Other people will not see this person for what you see, your, what the reality you're seeing. You're seeing through some kind of magic act, some kind of um, illusion that they manage to create around them. And they, they manipulate situations. They understand how to manipulate people. They have the four corners of four elements of the earth available to them, earth, air, fire, water. They understand how to manipulate any energy and create some kind of smoke screen. So you're dealing with a powerful manipulator here. But you're seeing the reality of them. And, you know, what they're offering, I don't know if you want it anymore. What they're offering, it, it just feels, I, I don't know if I want it anymore. Because you're giving some deep thought to this person. Your intuition is definitely telling you something here, Capricorn. This person, it doesn't feel, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, they're not they're in and out you know they have their own interests at heart it's a very selfish energy they have their own interests at heart um it might well be you're dealing with a player here you're dealing with a player energy and you know what every and i can't say this enough everybody else will be telling you that you're mad they're loved by everybody they're popular this person is loved by everybody uh, they understand how to create this smoke screen it's a magic act but here's the thing, you're, you're seeing the reality of it. I'm definitely feeling in this energy, the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of the facts of the situation. It might well be somebody is making you an offer, this person is making you an offer, they could have created some disappointment, there could be some truth that you've learned here, that it doesn't feel like it's a good truth, it feels like there's some truth or news that you're learning, um, that you're hearing about this week, it might involve some kind of healing and introspection to make some significant decision here. Um, but again, it, it feels like there's this kind of disbelief as well, because at the same time, they just feel like the perfect person, you know? Um, they might be making you this kind of offer of commitment here, Capricorn. It feels like, uh, and again, it, it, it just feels how they're morphing from who they are to the perfect elemental answer for you. They're morphing into this kind of like earth energy. They're making the best of use of this kind of earth energy that's available to them. I'll make you commitment. I'll say all the right things. But deep down, I feel that there is a question of trust in terms of whether you, you want to deal with this person and definitely need to take action. Somebody who is taking action because it doesn't feel like they're committing. They they have the bravado, the the smokescreen of trust, the smokescreen of, of a committed relationship, but there is some truth, some news. I don't know whether it's going to be gossip here, Capricorn. I don't know whether there's going to be some gossip. You could be hearing it from friends. You could be hearing some news about somebody here, but it feels that this is a player energy. They're masquerading as some commitment when they're not really committed. So... There's a feeling of things are hidden from you. There's a feeling of things are hidden from you. And there's this kind of like waking up, uh, waking up to some kind of realization, um, adopting a more mature perspective maybe in terms of how you're perceiving this person because it feels like empty promises. They're promising the earth and not delivering everything. It feels like you're, you don't trust them. I'm definitely getting this energy of, of I don't trust you. 
uh, from your actions. There's just some kind of trust. But there's confusion here. The Seven of Cups is hopes, dreams and wishes that you might be pinning on somebody here. But I'm feeling in this situation it's just castles in the sky. Whatever they're offering, it's castles in the sky. I don't know if it has substance. And that's what I'm getting here the most. So Capricorn, this is you, your energy, you taking control, you taking control of situations, you stepping into your power. There is definitely an energy of self-preservation, self-protection. Um, I am guarded here. I have my guard up here now. I'm guarded with my head. I'm guarded with my heart. I'm guarded in even moving forward towards what you're offering me. Um, because remember, you know, remember you are the devil energy. You understand the illusion. You understand how to work within difficult cycles you understand how to work with this kind of like illusionary energy and win so there's definitely an energy here of don't kid a kidder you know don't con a con man because you're seeing you're seeing straight through it here uh, we have uh, the Ace of Cups, which is a card, well, it can be this offer that you're being given here, but I don't feel that you're receptive to it. Um, I also feel, you know, certainly from, from Spirit's perspective and what Spirit is trying to show you, this is the time for self-love. This is about self-love, putting you first, holding on to what is stable and secure in your life, what is of value to you, and not opening up to things that are going to just mess you around, cause you confusion and doubt. Uh, it feels it feels very powerful. The nine of, of pentacles, you are coming, you are the rainbow dragon. You are coming at this from a position of power. I'm better on my own. I'm not afraid to be on my own and I'm not accepting something that is just a smoke screen. There's just a castle in the sky that has no substance. Um, I'm, I'm more about grounding myself in what is going to bring me stability and security and value in my life. Um, this is somebody who is empowered, who stands on their own two feet. It's an independent energy. So I'm better off on my own. Because I know my value, my worth. I know how I expect to be treated. If you're not going to treat me that way, then I'm not receptive to some kind of offer that you're being given to me. You're seeing through the illusion. I mean, th there is this kind of like out of everybody in the Zodiac, you know, uh, you you cannot pull an illusionary trick over a sign that's ruled by the devil. You know, so I, I feel that you are, there is some decision to make here, Capricorn. This is about inner alignment. This is about going within and finding answers on how you're going to deal with this. But I'm feeling you might be waiting to find answers. For, I feel you'll be asking for answers from this person because some news is coming to light. I don't know whether it's gossip or something, but there's some, there you're hearing something this week. Um, there's some information coming your way that you're learning. And there's definitely an energy here of, of you'll be dealing with it. You'll be dealing with it. You might be waiting to get some answers from this person. I feel you're getting answers from them. And then you'll make a decision accordingly. The reading is what it is. I know it won't resonate with everybody, Capricorn, but it's very clear in terms of what I'm feeling here. The moon energy, we have surrendered to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Yeah, I definitely feel in this energy. You are, you are dealing with a player, but you're calling them out on it. And we have, yeah, time to flourish. I don't feel this is going to set you back at all. There's a, there's a new beginning in terms of self-love and feeling empowered and happier to be in your own self-worth, self-esteem, uh, your own success as well, Capricorn. So we have 
The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. You see a lot of unclear energy, but I feel that you'll be asking for answers from somebody, demanding answers from a player. That's for sure. And we have had that message recently for you. So I think it was in the, the spirit messages for August. So this might be playing out for the next uh, two or three weeks. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all. Month, week for you all. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Thank you.